Scott and Mark Quinlan here. Memorial Day 2016. Breaking in our new rig. We've got here a fully insulated, repeat, fully insulated reverse flow smoker. This thing runs on nothing but firewood. Goes in the firebox down here. We have a warming cabinet. We have the cooking chamber over here. So as you can see, the fire starts here in the firebox, goes down underneath a baffle plate that runs the whole length of the uh, smoker, makes the turn down this end, comes back through the, uh, the meat and the racks, and comes out this nice 10 inch stack right here. The damper built in. Warming cabinet is about four inches of insulation between the firebox and warming cabinet. Pretty much peg this thing whatever temperature we got we want. I've got it barely open, it's at 200. So we got damper control here, damper controls at the top. Um, basically, we got 92 inch wide opening here. You can see the baffle plate down here. Got a lip right here at the end and underneath there's a two inch drain for releasing grease got three racks we got three briskets on here not even touching it we had five on the top rack earlier Let's open up the other side we got eight pork butts on the top a few racks of ribs some sausage for lunch all these racks pull out fully extended the bottom two are interchangeable or the same size so you can easily move stuff around. You can see here, doors fully insulated. The entire thing is insulated, at least an inch and a half insulation all the way around, if not more in some places. Get a glove on. We got heavy duty industrial over center clamps. Bust those open. Firebox, got damper controls down there. Get my tool. Pull this vlog rack out. Fully insulated things a miser. It's ready for a little bit more wood, but this thing is running on one very small split every 20 to 30 minutes. Not even breaking a sweat, keeping it at about 250, 260. So just keeping my coals going. Throw another split on here in a second. That back in. Lock her down up here. Got a few bristles kind of resting in here. Finishing up. We're going to put them in the cooler here in a minute. But again, I can get 20, repeat, 20 large steam pans in here. I can fit, I designed it to fit four on one shelf. So that's 20 pans of beans. Mac and cheese, green beans, whatever side you want to cook up in here. Lots of chicken, lots of sausage. Finish it off with a log rack in the back with an eight foot stainless steel uh, countertop. This side's got a 12 inch countertop running the length for eight feet. Got a few more things I'll do to the trailer, but Q Brothers, brand new. Fully insulated reverse flow smoker.